And Percy, lovely touch, a step over into the Travella. Bang! Back of the net. And Percy, bit of skill, pass one, pass two. And Percy making that run. Got a bit of work to do. Lovely bit of skill into that finesse. Great save. Goes one way, runs the other. Good ball rolling. Sends a keeper to the ground. Can he keep it on? <laughs> we are looking at the Icon Evolutions Van Persie. Four star, four star, high low, six foot two. You can see he plays striker or center forward. Now he's got a massive boost in shooting everything overall. We'll talk about it. But 96 finishing, 95 shot power, 92 composure. Nice agility and sprint speed boost as well. Yes, you could argue the balance could be a problem. But what I've used so far, I've not noticed it. And then we have ourselves the play styles here. Finesse shot, chip shot, power shot, tick attacker, first touch plus, flare. Technical and Travella. Now we've gone for an engine basically to be, sort out that um, the balance and agility situation. So you can see it gives him 83, 89, but it makes him a 94 winger, a 93 striker, a 94 cam and centre forward. Now we are playing him in a 4-2-3-1 system with him up front on our own. And we are also in elite division rivals. And just to show you that and we go to the screen in a second, you can see now what I've been using him in rivals already is basically he's very, very clinical. He does feel a little bit clunky when he go in towards the ball, and I think that's down to his agility and balance. But once you get used to that, it's not too bad, to be honest with you. And in terms of actual accelerate types, you can see here he is controlled. Now, if I go back to foot being quickly and talk about controlled, you can see just underneath my camera around here, it says controlled. It is a little bit of a problem at time, but again, he's only six foot and 183 centimeters, so I don't think it's going to be a problem in my opinion. But let's go jump into the gameplay and see how we get on. And we'll talk about basically his price, what the upgrade really does, and much more when we come back. And let's get into that gameplay. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So here's our opponent's team. Like I said, we are in Elite Division, so everybody's got crazy teams. Van Persie is going to be up front in our 4-2-3-1 system. Now, to the left, he's got the Evolutions Barcola. There is a review on the channel if you want to check that out. And then on the right, we've got our Omri icon that we actually packed before the SBC came out today. Let's just see how we get on. Now, the gameplay is a little bit clunky at times. I've noticed in today it's a bit heavy. But I've not noticed any problems with Van Persie in terms of front of goal. He's very, very clinical. And hopefully we can give you some clips to show that today. Now, you can see his position in there. On his own, little layoff. Omri couldn't play the ball back. But you can see that's the position he's going to be playing in up front on his own there. Right, the good thing about first touch plus is you can drill it into his feet and he'll control it really well. Now, his passing's very good. Distribution's very consistent. It's here where he struggles a little bit against the faster and more meta defenders. But you can see even the link-up plays good as a poor pass from me in the end. But he's a very good hold-up striker, especially with that first touch plus. I'll try and show you some more examples as we go through the review. Van Persie here, into that driven pass, good control again. Good left stick dribble to find the situation. Like I said about it, it's a poor pass from Rosicki. But that's what I was saying about his first touch in terms of his acceleration is mixed in with his agility and balance. There isn't much difference, to be honest. There's no problems with him whatsoever. Good touch, into that finesse, and good save. Unlucky first shot in there. Right, it's one all back in the game. A bit of a sweaty goal we got hands on here. One all back in the game. Van Persie on the left foot, green time finish, and a lovely save again. So you can see he can do the finesse shots. They are very consistent. Obviously, you must have tried a little bit closer or try and get a better angle, but it is possible. Right, counter attack. Van Persie, lovely ball into Barcola. Good tackle from Havertz there. Good link up again. Struggling to break our opponent down a little bit. We've got a very tight game on our hands. That's a bad defense from me. Van Persie on the last man. Got that ball out wide. Lovely pass from Van Persie. Can we return the favor? The great ball in by Percy. Whoa. What a save. We'll have a look at your set pieces while we're here. So you can see here, 95, 89, 98, and 95. So he's very consistent. You can see the little one-two that we did with him. So we take the touch in. Bit of skill here. Just waiting up to try. I tried to win a penalty. Very unlucky. Bit of skill. Couldn't get anywhere, unfortunately. But you can see the agility and balance is really not a problem. If you like to do skill moves, you like to do less dribbling, it's going to give you a lot of opportunities. Now, obviously, we should have maybe shot in some of those situations, but just trying to show you what you can and can't do. That driven pass, lovely first touch. Using that left stick to try and find some space, no problem. Drag out a couple of defenders. Van Persie takes a touch and a block by Blanc there. Van Persie, lovely touch. Can he get past him? Couldn't quite turn there. Very unlucky. Good strength though to hold off Blanc for a second. Percy ran the last man. Lovely interception there from Blanc. Very unlucky. Do you keep the pressure on though? 
Van Persie with the left stick. Oh, it gets away from one, but not the other. So that's half time. It's 1 1. In Elite Division, everybody plays the game like there is a gun to the head. Very, very sweaty. In terms of match facts so far, we've only had four shots. Loads of them been finesses from outside the box. Now, if we go to performances, we can have a look how Van Persie is doing in this game in particular. Only a 6.4. He's had eight dribbles out of 14 complete. Three shots on target out of three. Here's where he stands out there. You can see the 10 out of 10. His hold up play is really, really good. I am going to make a couple changes here, and we are going to go ahead. And take Rizitsky off. He's had a bad game. And we're going to get a little bit of rapid on the right-hand side to try and give Van Persie a little option to lay off. You can see the one-two that he did where he played it to Bicola. Bicola with a player switch to Van Persie. First time volley. Really good opportunity. Another day that goes in. But today, unfortunately, it hasn't. So let's see if we can keep the form up. But Van Persie around that man. Lovely run. Good control in. Lovely ball roll as well. Out to Omri. Oh, nearly found Van Persie. And that last man with a turn there. Round wide. Van Persie in between and Blanc's held him up there. So very unlucky. He was clean through. Van Persie here. Oh, I tried to do a no look pass there. Bad pass for me in the end. Lovely left stick. Find Sierra Omri. Back into Van Persie. Bit of skill. Oh, I got very lucky with that tackle again. Van Persie with a right foot. Finally gets the goal. Been a really difficult game. We managed to get the goal in his right foot this time. Four-star weak foot coming in. First opportunity really in the box as well. Hard angle to take it on. See if we can get a couple more with him now. The game's starting to grow. Good link up. Driving. Got Van Persie in the middle. Can we find him? Lovely touch. Go back a long way shot again and it's blocked. Henri picks the ball up. Finds Kevin De Bruyne. To Van Persie. Ah, oh, a little bit of left stick. Pass into Kevin De Bruyne and a lovely assist there from Van Persie as well. Using the skill moves and the left stick dribble. I thought the goalkeeper was going to come out. He didn't. We mean, managed to uh, change our form of attack and get ourselves a lovely opportunity there for that goal. What a lovely pass there. This is what I mean with this card. If you're looking for a hold-up striker who can also finish, this Van Persie evolution is a really good shout. Van Persie again, little one-two, back in. First touch plus coming in. Going for the long range. Oh, I had to try. I had to try the power shot there. The skill gets past one, gets past two. Green time right at the keeper, unfortunately. But again, a good example of his skill movability and the animation. Got the space here. Van Persie. He's got Kevin De Bruyne running in the middle. Going to use him as a dummy run. Easy pass across. What a ball and a lovely assist again. I know that is horrible to see, but you've got to do that in this division. You can see that he mixes Varane at Thunderstruck. Lovely ball into Kevin De Bruyne. This is one of the better hold-up and link-up strikers I've used. Let's go back over to Footbin now, talk about the chem styles of pricing, what I thought about the upgrades and much more. As you see our match score there, we're on 813. So as you can see here, if we zoom in ever so slightly, you can see Van Persie gets a nice upgrade overall. It's going to cost you 200,000 coins to do this upgrade or 1,000 FIFA points or FC points. But if we jump back over to Footbin, we can see here he gets a plus... Three on pace, a plus four on shooting, a plus three on passing, dribbling, two on defending, and three on physical. Now, if you wanted to buy his base card, you are looking at the price of around 140k. He is extinct. And so it's going to be 340k overall. Now, I will be honest, I'm not sure this card is worth 340,000 coins. But I did this evolution because I already packed Van Persie from an Icon SBC. And I'm hoping that in the future, 90 rated, he has a chance of getting another upgrade in the future. For example, a weak foot or a skill move. Now, I really, really like the card. I think his hold-up ability, his link-up is fantastic. The issue you have with him is because he's controlled. He doesn't always pull away from defenders. But you can see with this engine, it just boosts up that agility and balance. So his left stick and his skill moves feel really, really responsive and fantastic. But as always, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.